Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the high order mesh setup process in Pointwise. The prerequisite is a linear mesh, like you see here for the Rotor 37 geometry. The next step is selecting a format that supports high order mesh export. Now, you can do this from the CAE menu by going to Select Solver. Currently, there are two formats you can choose from, either CGNS or GMesh, that support high order mesh export. In this case, I've chosen CGNS. From the CAE menu, after you set up your boundary conditions and volume conditions like any other linear mesh, you can then go to Set Solver Attributes and you're presented with all of the parameters that are going to control degree elevation on export from Pointwise, the first being the CGNS file type. Now mesh curving takes place in three steps. The first is elevating the linear elements and inserting the additional nodes. The second step is perturbing these additional nodes. And the third step is smoothing the high order mesh using our optimization based smoothing scheme to improve mesh quality. The first parameter you can control is the convergence cost threshold, which is the threshold value after which the smoothing process will stop. Next is the maximum included angle. This sets the angle to determine which cells in the mesh are going to receive smoothing prior to elevation. In this case, all elements that have an included angle greater than 175 would be smoothed prior to elevation. Next is the polynomial degree. Now by default, this is set to Q1 or degree one. That's a linear mesh, but it goes all the way up to degree four. Next is the step size relaxation factor. This sets the step size to be used when iteratively smoothing the high order nodes. So if you notice the cost function value oscillating on export, you may want to think about decreasing this to improve stability. The next three parameters are going to control the weighted condition number smoothing process. The first being the number of iterations and the next being the weighting factor, whether that's calculated or explicitly defined. If explicitly defined, this is the weighting factor which determines the amount that the minimum curving cost function will influence the weighted condition number smoothing component. And the last option is whether or not you'd like to write a high order VTU file for additional post processing outside point wise. And those are all the parameters that are going to control the curving process or the elevation process on export from point wise. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.